Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. The fall glow up begins. <laughs> During this week, I'm going to be doing different things to glow up for fall. The first thing that we have to do is cut my hair because I'm going to dye it. I think that's going to be the biggest thing out of this whole transformation, I guess. And I'm really, really excited and nervous, but mostly excited for this new natural hair era dark hair era apart from dyeing it i don't want the lady to cut my hair because then it's gonna cost extra why would i do that when i could just cut it myself i've cut my hair before on this channel well first i did the butterfly haircut okay i kind of only did the front because i had to cut my hair prior to the length i wanted but this time we're gonna do both parts because my hair has grown i have the video again pulled up over here um if you know you know i did this last time before we do anything i need to wet my entire head of hair so i'm gonna do that off camera and then i'll be back when my whole entire head is wet and ready to be cut okay so i'm back and i kind of semi wet my hair because it's not like fully fully wet it's just kind of like damp i did take off my hoodie because like i knew it was gonna go wet now we're gonna cut it and hopefully this doesn't take as long as it did last time because i've already done this like twice because i did it once on myself for the first time. He's always interrupting. I did do this once on myself for the first time, and then I did it again on my mom. I filmed those two instances, and they're on my channel. If you wanna go check it out, we're just gonna like grab this temporarily, like this. And then I'm gonna grab all this hair and put it back. We take this off. I think it looks good. So we're just gonna like push it all the way to the front. This is how it's looking. I'm gonna wet the back of my head again because it's getting really dry. I love this thing. I used to have like a spray bottle that my mom used to have, like a really old one. We still have it. I used to use that to like refresh my waves like the next day. It's nice, but this just works so this just, sorry. <laughs> this just works so much better. Honestly, I got this on Amazon. I'll link it down below if you guys want to get it. It's life-changing, honestly. For me, it was life-changing, okay? So now we're gonna grab the back of my head and we're gonna do the same thing. This is how it's supposed to look like. I'm gonna put my hair like this because you can't see my face and the camera doesn't focus if it's not looking at my face. This is the worst I've ever looked in my life. Oh my goodness, what a look. Oh my god, my arm is hurting. I'm gonna do this off camera because I feel like it's gonna take a long time. <laughs> okay, we are back. And I look atrocious. Now we're gonna start cutting. I watched a bit more of the Brad Mana video. He says that like two fingers is one inch. And honestly, that's a little bit. <sighs> what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I have these scissors right here. I think I'm gonna start off with two inches. Should I do three inches? Okay, I'm gonna start off with two inches. We're gonna do one. Okay, let's do another inch. I'm gonna do one more. Okay, so it's gonna be three inches right here. Hold on, I'm not done yet. Is that good for a first layer? Should I do one more? Oh, I kinda wanna do one more. No, I think I'm gonna stop because once I do like my wavy hair, I feel like it's gonna like scrunch up and be even more shorter. So I think I'm good for now. I'm just gonna like uh, clean it up a bit. Wait, you guys can't even see, I'm so dumb, sorry. That's how it is. I did three inches, so now I'm gonna do the same to the back of my head. I'm gonna grab this clip right here. I'm just gonna like pin it because the camera's not focusing. We're gonna do inch by inch. Two inches is about right over there. I'm gonna do one more. We're gonna let go of all of this now. Let's see what I did. Okay, we're gonna bring everything to the front. Okay, this is the length I wanted. Well, okay. Wait, why does it look like I actually did nothing on the bottom? I think I'm gonna end up cutting a bit more. I think that's good for now. I'm okay with the length. It's not that short, but it's also not that long to where it looks stringy on me because I have stringy ass hair. I like how this looks right here. So I think that's all that matters. <laughs> Shit. On to the next step of this little glow up process. Okay, so now we're in my room and it is time to paint my nails. This is a fall video, so I'm going to paint my nails a really dark wine red color. Red is a new color for fall this year and everybody's wearing these cherry mocha nails like this right here. I was looking through all of my nail polish colors and I saw this color and honestly, this is like kind of similar. So I'm just gonna paint them really quick while I listen to some Emma Chamberlain because I love that girl. A 
Okay, I'm done. This is how they turned out. They're actually pretty um, atrocious because I kind of just like do whatever with my nails and then like wash my hands like a couple times and then everything goes away and it turns out really nice. On camera, they look pretty, they look pretty good. I love this. This is the color that I wanted and I'm happy that I already had it in my drawers. I'm happy that, that it all worked out that way, but I'm ready to dye my hair. I'm ready to do it. I will completely miss the blonde forever and ever and ever and ever. I feel like as a girl, you need to at least like be blonde once in your life just to like experience it because even though I'm not like a complete blonde where like I fully like bleached my entire head of hair I was kind of like pretty blonde because I had like blonde highlights and they were chunky blonde highlights so obviously it did take up most of my head of hair the phrase of like blondes have more fun I don't know if that's completely true I feel like it is in some degree or some sort of form or whatever but brunettes can have fun too. Any hair color can have as much fun as blondes do. Period. Point blank period. I will see you guys when I do my next step of my glow up, I guess. I'll see you guys later. Hello, everybody. So it is the next day. Um, this is how the hair turned out. Wait, let me take off this glass. Like there's literally a piece right here. Pretty uneven, but I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna tell my mom to kind of clean it up from the back. I'm gonna kind of wet it again so that she, she could like fix it up from the back because this is like so bad. I just finished editing my fall morning routine video. It's currently exporting right now. We're doing this again, the teeth whitening. I haven't done it since like the last time we've done it together. I'm not gonna take that long like last time because I actually know what I'm doing now, so. I saw on TikTok actually that in order to avoid sensitivity, which I actually didn't get any sensitivity last time, to avoid that if you wanna avoid it, they say to like basically cut the strips in half so that the teeth whitening strip won't go over your teeth. I might do that even though it didn't really do anything to me last time, but you gotta be cautious. This is all the glow up thing I'm doing today because it's currently Tuesday. I can't really do anything tomorrow because my brother's gonna be here. But on Thursday is my appointment for my hair. I feel like this is part of the process for the glow up. Oh yeah, this is how my nails turned out. We're gonna cut it in half. That. This piece I'm saving for another time, I guess. This is the top. Okay, now the bottom strip. Wow, my teeth look so much whiter. We're gonna wait 45 minutes? Yeah. Timer is on. And now we wait. 45 minutes have passed and I'm gonna take these off now. Last. <laughs> Obviously there's not a huge difference. I feel better, I guess. <laughs> Next step of this glow process might be the biggest and most exciting yet nerve wracking step of all. So I'll see you guys when that is happening. Good morning, everybody. It is 10.34 right now, and I'm on my way to my hair appointment. I'm so excited, nervous, sad, feeling all the emotions right now, but I'm so ready, honestly, to get this over with already. So let's go to the hair appointment. I'll vlog a little bit. I'll see if I can vlog a little bit over there, but I'm kind of camera shy, so we'll see. I'll definitely show you the result at the end, so. You like my hair? <laughs> No, no seas malo, Ricardito. All right, guys, so I'm home. I'm gonna show you my hair in three, two, one. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. I'm a brunette. After three years, I'm back to my dark root. It feels kind of unreal, honestly, but I'm so happy with the result. I think I'm gonna be like this for a while now, honestly, because the blonde, although I loved it, RIP blonde highlights, this is way more low maintenance. Yeah. This is giving very much fall. Also, guess what came in the mail last night? 
I forgot that I ordered something from R.A.M. Beauty, which is Miss Arna Grande's makeup beauty line. I thought this was another one of my mom's packages, and then she was like, oh, it's addressed to you, and I'm like, don't remember getting any makeup from R.A.M. Beauty. And then I remembered I ordered the Sweetness Shop merch, because if you didn't know, she had a little pop-up in NYC and LA for her new foundation, the Sweetener Foundation, and they were giving out exclusive merch. Obviously, I could not go, but they moved it to their website, and I was like, Immediate yes. It was my birthday month, so I'm like, this is gonna be my birthday present to myself. But I'm gonna do a little unboxing of it on TikTok. Here's my TikTok. The same. I think this will match perfectly with my new hair, so I'm really excited that this came like literally at the perfect time. I'm so happy with how it turned out, and I think this color really suits me. Hello everybody, it is the next day. I'm wearing the RM Beauty Sweetener Shop merch. It's beautiful. Um, I unboxed it on my TikTok again. Go check it out. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing the final last step of this entire glow up process, which is just makeup and clothes. But I might just wear this honestly because we're like out. I wanna see myself with some makeup and like like a whole wing look. I haven't seen myself with makeup with this dark hair yet because I started doing makeup when I still had my blonde hair. I have no idea, but I think I look fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna fail me doing my makeup entirely on here because you guys have seen how I do my makeup. I love it. I can't get over it, honestly. Brown never looks so good on me. With this dark hair, it just suits the dark hair. I love it, I love it, I love it. Let me just speak on this really quickly and then I'll skip over to when my makeup's done because this video has been long enough. I already edited like up to this point and it's already like 14 minutes long. So I'm not gonna talk that much. I'm just gonna like speak on this a little bit and then I'll see you guys when like when my makeup is like all finished. I was thinking while they were dyeing my hair yesterday that honestly, I feel like I went blonde because well, first of all, I was kind of curious of how blonde would look on me because I had balayage ends before. I was like, next time I'm gonna do like all the way to my root. I didn't expect my hair to be completely blonde. This is what I showed the woman. She did do exactly what the picture did, but I didn't really <laughs> pay attention to how blonde she was gonna make me. This is how I ended up. I went through something before I bleached my hair that made me want to bleach it and I was just like I was just like really sad during that time and I didn't love myself like at all like I was in a point in my life where I literally hated myself I hated looking at myself in the mirror like I was in a really low point in the area of self-love I guess I've I was going through it with myself and like my parents. That's why I really wanted to make a big change because I didn't like myself at all. Like I literally cut my hair up to here and then the day after I bleached it. Yeah. And at first I wasn't used to it, but you know, in the end I was like, this is what I wanted. You know, like I can't complain really and I really can't go back. I thought that way. I was like, I can't go back. After a few months, I did get used to it and I started loving myself with blonde hair. I'm like, oh my gosh, like I love myself. Even though I really didn't. <laughs> with time, obviously, I started spending more time alone really helped me find out more about myself. And it was a really long journey, but I think I'm getting there. Like, yeah, there are some times where I'm like, oh my God, look, I look so good. But then obviously there are times where I'm like, I feel so bloated or I feel so ugly. I don't want to show myself anywhere in public right now. I feel disgusting. I've learned that that's normal and that I'm not the only one. It was harsh for me in the beginning, but I'd say the first one and a half years of me being blonde, I was going through it, okay? With my appearance. And now I could probably say that I love myself with dark hair and I love myself a little a little well not a little but i do love myself a lot more than two years ago so and i'm so happy so yeah i was contemplating at first i was like should i go back to my dark hair or should i do one more year of blonde highlights but then with like time i was like and as fall came around and people started dyeing their hair dark again i was like why not just do it now because i'm so tired of maintaining this blonde hair i'm so tired of not keeping it healthy because i'm thinking that if i use certain products like it'll fade my blonde and then i don't want to use purple shampoo it's a lot honestly when 
she was like blow drying my hair she was like how do you feel with this like dark hair because she's been there with me for like the three years <laughs> i've only gone to her for my blonde because she's the only one that knows like what i want in the end she was like oh my god this is such a big change like how do you feel and i just told her i'm like i feel like more like myself yeah i just wanted to say that really quickly with my lashes curled oh why do i look so good Okay, let me stop. If you're going through what I went through a few years ago, you know, just know that you're not alone and that a lot of girls and guys, everyone goes through self-love. It's normal to have some good and bad days, you know? I still have some really bad days where I'm like, ugh. But then, you know, I get over it and the next day I'm like, oh my gosh, today I look cute. You know, it's just like, and that's normal that's life everyone has their own insecurities everyone especially right now with social media it's very easy to like compare yourself to people online and everything but just know that they also have insecurities and not everyone is perfect everyone is human and we all have flaws and there's nothing we can do but just love every single one of them or try to because obviously it's hard some days but keep going look in the mirror every day and just be like i love you i've seen people who have sticky notes all over their mirrors or like in their room with those love affirmations being like i'm worth it i'm loved i'm beautiful i should do that and i should have done that two years ago but <laughs> i wasn't thinking really you know these lashes are gonna take me forever to do so i'm gonna like finish my makeup and then i'll be back when i'm done with the makeup okay guys so i did my makeup yeah i tried covering up some pimples that i had but i don't think i did a really good job at it but whatever anyways this is what i look like with makeup on with my new hair like what this is so cute let me take off these clips that i put in so i can do my for accessories, I just put in these gold hoop earrings that I got from Timu, and then this choker necklace pearl thing that I also got from Timu. And then for rings, this is from Pandora. This is from Claire's, I think. It just says love. I got my 15 ring, and then this is an old ring that my mom used to have. For outfit, it's basically the same thing. Let me show you. My camera's on the tripod, and I'm too lazy to take it off, so whatever. Um, also, please excuse the mess. I made a mess right now. I'm basically just wearing the same sweatshirt that i showed you in the beginning it's from aria beauty with it i'm just wearing these jeans from marshall's by the brand kenzie jeans and they're just like these high-waisted jeans and i think it's so cute and then obviously wearing my vans that is the little fit but anyways, that is gonna be it for this fall glow up. From what I looked like in the beginning till now, I think this was definitely a glow up. I cut my hair, I dyed it, I did a teeth whitening little session, I put on makeup, I painted my nails, I have the fall outfit. We got it all. That is gonna be it for this video. Again, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I most definitely did. Oh my god, I have a mess here. I'm so sorry. Anyways, make sure to follow my TikTok and my Instagram as well as any of the social media down below subscribe like and comment thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye